Well, hi, I'm Pete Charles with the Oregon Woodworker. My family and I make all of our fine wood products to help you with your knitting, spinning, and weaving needs. Today, this video will show how to use and assemble the Royal Replacement Ball Winder. For about 60 years, Royal, the foremost name in the yarn ball winders, uh, stopped making the small ball winder. It was a wonderful ball winder, and as soon as it was discontinued, we looked everywhere and tested many ball winders to find a replacement. We finally found a company that made an exact duplicate of the Royal, the small ball winder. And they even made one improvement by adding a metal hand crank to it. This is the product that we recommend that you purchase for your small uh, ball winding needs. It's called the Royal Replacement Ball Winder. When you purchase it from us, it comes in this type of box. Let's open it up. What you'll find inside, there will be an instruction sheet and the ball winder in a nice bag. There's your cone and here's the ball winder. It's very sim simple to assemble. The first step is to swing the arm around and there's a little knob here just snap it there and that holds it in place that will be the eyelet through which your yarn will come to control it as it comes to the yarn ball winder the cone just goes in and these two little wings go in and twist to the left and then there's a little clamp it's got a nice little pad on it this you can do this on your, uh, clamp it onto your table or some other surface, it'll go up to two inches in thickness, which is great. So here at our show, we have a little board that's representative of your tabletop. We have to add these because our tables are so thick here. And all you do is clamp it on. And then there's a wing nut here, you just tighten it up. Here's one that's already assembled. Here's the wing nut. All you do is tighten that up. And then you can take your yarn, run it to your eyelet, take the end of your yarn and insert it in the, in the uh, crosses here. The, the, and that will hold it in place. This will become your pull string when you're through making your ball. And then you just connect your yarn and start turning the crank and it should make a very nice whole string ball. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the OregonWoodworker.com or the Yarnsworths.com or the OregonWoodworker at MSN.com. Thank you.